Hey everyone, just got myself a new cable for the conference room so we can use it to plug in into our conference system. It was inexpensive of the, uh, on the web. So before going any further, I want to kind of test it, make sure that it's working and the user has good experience, so plug it in. I'm going to use my generator and I adjusted generator to have a pattern uh, functionality so we can display it on the screen. <coughs> All right, let's see if it works. And uh, so far I noticed right away on the generator screen that it senses the monitor, but the hot plug detect is not working. So obviously there's something wrong with the cable. All right, let's go ahead and pull it out and see if we can test the cable. So I'm gonna to switch to a cable test mode. I'm going to plug the other end of the cable into the input. So now there's input and output. And then I'm going to press enter and start the test. And we can see the first test, 5 volts failed, hot plug detect failed, DDC bus failed, and uh, CEC failed. If you look at the bandwidth, the bandwidth failed. So the whole cable has failed. All right. I'm going to unplug the cable. We now know that it's a bad cable. Let's see if I can bring a different cable in. Also got it off of the internet. And this time I'm going to test it before I'm going to use it. So plug it back the same way. Go to the, go to the menu and press enter to test it. And enter again. 5 volt is good. Hot plug detect is good, DDC bus is good, CEC is good, and when I scroll down, it's checking it all the way to 4K, it's analyzing it right now, and so far it's doing just fine. So we can go ahead and test it, plug it in, I'm going to go back to the menu, unplug the cable and plug it back to the input of the audio visual system, and right away, and switch it to the task mode, we're going to switch to the pattern generator. In the pattern generator right there on the top, I see right away that it senses the monitor, which is one. Hot plug detect is one, and we now have an image. 